Hi again, patrons. Uh, today I want to address a question that I had recently from one of you. It was a good question, and one, one of those things that I kind of take for granted um, in my work. So I was a little challenged about how to answer it. I hope I did that all right. And I'm going to do a little visualisation today. If you can hear a load of shrieking, <clears throat> it's because we got seagulls out nesting on the roof and they're getting territorial, so just let them get on with it. Um, anyway, the question was about those symbols you see that have the, they're lathed, but they're lathed kind of sparsely. So you get like a striped effect of cut lathed material where it's shiny through, and then the raw surface, more lathed, raw, that kind of stripey effect. Um, we talked about how and why. I'm not going to talk about why today. We'll get to that. I'm going to talk about how. And just visualising it in this basic thing. I've got a blank loaded up here and I'm going to use chalk. Now, if you imagine the symbol spins at a constant speed, I'll turn it on in a moment, and we hold a cutting tool against the surface of the unlathed symbol in this case, and we move it across the symbol, in or out. Again, lots to talk about there, uh, depending on what we want to do. So, for some people, this might be, you might see where I'm going, you know already, I'm sure, lots of you, but for those who don't know, maybe haven't even thought about it, this is, this is how it's done. This is spinning at constant speed, which means if we adjust the speed that we move uh, horizontally using the cutting tool, we change how close together the line, the spiral of the cut becomes, because if you think about it, we're creating a spiral as we move. So it's simply a case of altering the speed, and I'll demonstrate that with some chalk. If you imagine I hold the chalk in one place as it spins, I'm going to make a solid line. Of course, because it's not moving, it's rotating, it's coming round each time and just reinforcing the same line. If then I move very, very slowly, well, if it's very slow, and this is going at constant speed, of course I'm going to fill in the entire surface. If I move it really quickly, then I'm getting out of the way, maybe even before it's had time to do one revolution or two or three or whatever. So this is that in action. I'm going to move really quickly across the surface, first of all, and you see what I mean. So you can see, just wide spiral. You can do that with lathing. Why would you do that? Again, we'll come to that. Well, now let's move a little slower and see what happens. Now, it's still a spiral, and of course we're interfering with the original one I did, so it's starting to get a bit chock a block but you can see that's where you get that, that kind of shine poking through on those kind of symbols. Obviously, if I go really slow, I'm going to fill the surface in. so on. That's how you lay the entire surface. So I hope that is just briefly interesting uh, insight into how we do that. Question of why is another one. As a lot of you know, I see lathing as a hugely powerful tool that we can use, really underestimated. So why do we do that? Think about it. Have a, have a chat in the comments if you want the forums back open, if you want to talk about these things. There's lots of reasons why we do this. There's reasons why we wouldn't on some symbols. And as ever, on and on it goes. Plenty to talk about. I hope that was of interest to you.